Hi, hey, how's it going? My name is Lauren May and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be figuring out how to have an epic movie marathon night. I have some awesome tips that's just going to make your movie marathon just that little bit extra awesome. So let's get straight into it. All right, so tip number one to how to have an epic movie marathon slash movie marathon essentials. I haven't really worked out a title yet, but like we'll get there. So number one is, so me and my friends are like super indecisive people and we can spend hours, I'm talking hours, trying to find and pick a movie to watch on just like a movie night, let alone like a movie marathon night, right? So. You have to pick your movie well before the night you want to have your movie marathon night because then it saves hours of trying to figure it out. So you go into that day already knowing what movie you want to watch and how many of those movies you're going to watch. A couple years ago, a bunch of my friends and I, we had a Harry Potter movie marathon, but we decided like months in advance that we were going to do it because we had to prepare. <laughs> There's lots of different types of movie marathons that you can do. You can do movie series, movie series like Harry Potter, Bring It On, all of those kinds of things that have more than one movie in their series. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Or you could go down a different route, like a movie marathon of genre. So only watching funny movies or scary movies or romantic movies or whatever else you are totally into. You could do like a genre themed movie marathon. Or you could do like an actor themed movie marathon where you only watch Tom Cruise movies or you only watch Zac Efron movies or whatever else. What you, you get what I'm saying. As long as your movies somehow relate to each other, then it's a movie marathon. If they don't relate to each other in any way, shape or form, then you're just having a movie night. That is fact. Don't fight me on this. Number two, to have an awesome epic movie marathon night, you need to have snacks, you need to have lots of food, you need to be prepared. This is this is a marathon, remember? You need to be like fueling your body to get through the task, right? And that's watching a lot of movies. So I always like a good like bowl of chips, some pretzels, you know, we want sweet and savory, so you want like chocolate, all of that kind of stuff. You also want drinks. You want to be hydrated. You need lots of water but you know you could go down the hot chocolate route and have like a hot drink kind of thing. You could go down the like Moscato route and like you know have some bubbly. Only if you're above the drinking age in your country. I don't endorse underage drinking. Just putting it out there. Yeah just make sure you stay hydrated because like if you're eating all this food and you're not you're not drinking then like there's a problem there. Depending on how many movies you're watching, you could make it like an, a dinner night. So you like order in pizza or takeaway or whatever food you like to order out and have that as your main food and then like have some like other snacks on the side. As long as you have food for your marathon, you're all good. Now, step number three to have an awesome epic movie marathon night is to create an atmosphere. Now, this is a step that lots of people seem to forget or leave out or not realize how important it is but atmosphere is everything for a start is you don't want to be having some giant lights you know blaring at you while you're watching your movies so you know dim some lights make some atmosphere maybe extra pillows blankets make a blanket fort you know make it cozy and roomy and snuggly just like make it an atmosphere that you're gonna want to enjoy while you're sitting there through your marathon that's all I'm saying. Step number four to having an awesome epic movie marathon night is stick to a schedule. Now this might seem a little bit too much for a movie marathon, but when my friends and I did our Harry Potter movie marathon, there's seven movies, right? And like, that's a whole lot of movie in one sitting. So we had to like plan that like, after each movie would have like a 10 minute, you know, toilet food break. Or, you know, after say the fourth movie would have like a five hour sleep nap thing. And then we'll watch the next one. I don't know, technically it's not a movie marathon if you're sleeping halfway through, but like, you gotta rest sometime, right? I mean, surely in marathons, you kind of slow down the pace a little so that you can like endure through. This is the same kind of concept. <laughs> so yes, you need to stick to a schedule. You know when you're gonna start your movie marathon, say 5 p.m. and you know when you're aimed to finish it, which I mean, it could change because you know, 
things do. You want to make sure that you're aware of the time of things and you're not going to take like three days to watch, you know, four movies because that's like a bit much. A last bonus tip that I have for you to make an extra awesome movie marathon night is to make it themed, you know, make it a slumber party or a onesie party or something like that that just gives it an extra boost and extra you know, extra fun to the night of just sitting down watching a bunch of movies. You know, make it a bring your favorite snack night. Or if you're having a Disney marathon, then maybe you dress up like your favorite Disney character to come watch the movies. Like, have that extra little spice to the night to just give that extra little bit of fun. I hope you've enjoyed these five tips that I've given you to make your movie marathon night just that extra little bit awesome. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you're not already and once you've done that you can click that notification bell to be notified every single time that I upload a video. I hope you're having a wonderful day and remember don't forget to hug someone today. Bye! Yeah.